a nuclear reactor. Wait, you tell me I can make a nuclear reactor? We can go nuclear? Alrighty guys, welcome back to Subnautica, where today, um, I think mostly what we're gonna be trying to do is we're gonna go to Life Pod 13 here, then we're gonna go down into the, was it, little mushroom area? So, but first off here, I just want to do this here before I go. This is just so I have it going, and I want to see exactly how much metal scrap is around me, because then I want to go and grab some of it. But before I go, let's quickly... I, we're going to raid our water supply. We'll keep two of those guys in there. But I need, I need water here before we go. Okay, I'll also pick some fruit. Always picking the fruit is the best idea. Um, there is a water purifier in this game as well, which I don't know how to get. Because as of right now, we are turning a fish into water. We are extracting the liquid from a fish. So, not... Don't know if that's the best option for us. Okay. Grab some food. We're going to load that up here. Now, one of you guys did recommend some colors here. Now, for the base, we were supposed to be picking a blue. So, we'll increase this all the way up. And then, light blue, is it? Well, you said light blue, then stripe. You said you wanted a dark blue. That doesn't look bad at all. Nice. Now, in terms of name, we haven't figured out a name. Interior, though. We're going to go with a dark interior. Done, done. Okay. Maybe if I actually look... Tread that. Okay. Now, let's... Ooh, quick. What is going on with my guy? We're going to load up some food in there. We're going to quickly take the two that we have on us. Crush two waters real quick. And now... We're going to go head over to life pod 13 all systems online now i'm pretty sure we should be fairly we should be safe going over to this guy it, from what i understand it's it should be no biggie at all what was that there's like two poofs of purple did you guys see that you know i think it's just for the sparky effects on you just did something special that time. I don't know. That looked weird. Um, now, we're about to head where we've never been before, which is out this way. Now, this is a safe shallows right here. I do want to keep that in mind. We're at 13 meters. Why does it get darker? Oh, because it's probably a solar eclipse, yeah? Yeah, it's a solar eclipse right now. But... Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. I can't say that word. What is... Oh, it's a mushroom! It's the mushroom forest! This isn't a bad place. No, no, no. This is actually a good place. Okay, so... The biomass... In this area this is, is dominated by plant life. Picking up oh. faint Altera vehicle signatures. Faint Altera vehicle signatures. Life pod 13 though. This could have been where we, we could have built our base here. Could imagine it just going up that mushroom there. But... Oh, 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 what's going on? What's happening? What's on my screen? What are you? What are you? What was that? What was that? Integrating new PDA data. Emissary's voice log. Live 
something so it doesn't sound like he made it through the crash no I need to quit moving now over here should be the floating biome the floating islands right Yeah, there's the floating island biome. So. Like, I need to be careful because there's dunes. One of these biomes is actually a dunes biome and it has creatures called reapers that spawn in it. I keep hitting in things. I should probably leave this area. Um, My map says that there is an alien arch nearby though as well. The one that I got here like so I can kind of just know where where I'm going and if it's safe you know help me prepare um I think I need to follow this crack for that though anything what was that sound Something just screeched off way in the distance. Um, huh. I wonder where that alien catches. I'm not finding it. Let's go. You know what? Let's check the mushroom. Huh. This thing could also be like way deeper. This thing's like a 227. Ow. It tells me, something tells me it's back in here. Because it says 227. But I can't go any. Is there caves? That's a lithium deposit. Oh, there. This is what I was talking about. Okay, we gotta be careful. Because we can accidentally, like, propel our Seamoth in here and then it, you know. Oh. This. Okay. This looks like it's an exit point, not an entry point. So what I mean by that is, there was another gate at the island the other day when we were exploring. And well, usually there's like a pedestal here to activate it if it's one that we can turn on. So this is like an out point for another one? So I guess... We really didn't need to come in here. That fish is defying everything. Huh? We found it. That's what I was looking for. Now that we found it, though, we're good. Ooh, we're taking some damage. Uh, I probably need to be careful with like how I maneuver the vehicle. But I'm pretty sure we should be good to go back to the base. What was that, though? Like, we just had the hoogly boogly like, thing pop up and scare us. Also, that was a deep... That's a deep, like, drop there. Off from the safe shallows. Uh, apparently, there is an area over here called the Dunes. If I follow it... 
It's way over there, apparently. Ow. Why do I do that? I just smacked into a fish. Oh, that just gave me a jolt. Big one, too. I don't know why I, like, yeah. I don't know why I hit that guy. Okay, let's dock up. Welcome aboard, Captain. It's nice to be back. Uh, that'll charge the sea moth, but we did some damage. Sea moth is repaired. Anything in storage? Ooh, we have water lockers that I forgot to remove. Um, pop some water. Here, we'll pop another one. Why not? Now, if I can get this out. This should give me some food. Unless, unfortunately, though, they are a little spoiled. Not rotten, though. Okay, now, I got everything cleaned out from that. Um, I just had to reset this because apparently, like, it bugged out. But there's a bunch of scrap around. I know it. I need to actually, like, sit here and watch it. Because I want to get a bunch of orange dots on it. One of these scans. Um, but now, here, actually, what we are going to do. This is for an another upgrade that we need. A range magnetite. We can get two. We can get those. Now, it's scanning magnetite somewhere. It's got one, like, way out there. Don't want to have to go for that one though. Um, supposedly, I'm thinking that we just have to go down here into this cave to find it. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna take the sea moth. Uh, we have cleaned out all the unnecessaries. We got storage look cleaned out. Welcome we are basically ready to do this, and then I smacked right into my base. But yeah, this is what we're ready for. Is this? This biome. Ooh. And in which this biome does have some hostiles. We got a platform here. We got a platform here. I don't trust that thing. The conditions in this cave support a microcosm of unique, possibly predatory life forms. Detecting an artificial structure somewhere in the region. Um, okay. I just smacked. Ooh. That made a weird noise when it came out. That rock break off from the ceiling? It did. I don't like the noises I'm hearing in here though. Especially when they go in and out of those uh, mushrooms. Now, he has left his shroom. Oh, he just smacked into that fish. Now, there's definitely stuff here I can scan. Unique stuff? I don't know. Huh. Nothing there I can scan. But there's the geothermal vents I was talking about that we could probably hook up some uh, thermal, or was it like, yeah, geothermal reactors to? And we could get some power from. But I'm not too sure. More geysers. Um, we're kind of just looking for a... It said that there was structure in here. I wonder if it meant alien or people like these. I see a data pad. I see a data pad. 
Okay, wait. New PDA data. Integrating new PDA data. The conditions in this cave support a microcosm of unique, possibly predatory life forms. Detecting an artificial structure somewhere in the region. Okay. Uh I don't like that. What is that? There's a structure right here. And there's a crate. It's a med kit. I could use a med kit. Ooh. Not really seeing any scannables there. There's a lot of geothermal vents. I gotta be careful. I don't want to like have get blasted by one of those and have this the sea moth break. You know. Um. It does not look like it's there is a way for me to go over that way. Actually, no. There, there it is. What is that? Proposed Denasi habitat. All right. So the wait. This stuff is from the crew of the Denasi. Okay. Well, that's kind of what I figured anyways. Uh, again, if you guys don't know who the Denasi are, they are apparently another ship that crashed here before me. Um. I don't like that sound. I think that's those worms. Those worms are making that noise. One right there. It's life pod 12 way over there. But here's that Denasi base that they were mentioning. Okay. Um, yes, that's a modification station. Thank you. Power cell charger. Oh, this is for power cell. This is like for like charging up the sea moth. Uh, nuclear reactor. Wait, you tell me I can make a nuclear reactor? We can go nuclear? Um. Need to be careful out here. I don't trust the wildlife. Whatsoever. I could have just sworn I saw one of those guys really close. Yep. Um, let's go, let's go, let's go. Ooh, PDA. Integrating new PDA data. Okay. Um, water filtration machine. This is what I was talking about that we could get. Are you telling me I can craft it now? Um, also, with how many of these PDA data that we get, I might hang on to them. And then... You know what Maida told me today? She wants to build a habitat 500 meters below sea level, more than a kilometer northeast of here. And she needs Bart and I to do it. She's got it into her head that she can save us if she just acts recklessly enough. To have hold Star Wars to nip you, plus deal to the Federation. <sighs> this family operates nine different mining colonies across the Ariadne Arm. Maida thinks she's better suited to lead. Her contract still says otherwise. But I just cannot damn well tell whether it's the stupidest idea I ever heard. Or my only hope. I turned 80 years old last week. I thought I had another E.T. in me, but marooned on this planet, there's no swapping out of my liver when the old one fails. Here, I'm mortal. The Maida is useful. So, it's my responsibility to make a decision. 
Return to the island and hope whatever knocked the Degazi out of the sky won't do the same to the rescue ship. Or take us deeper in search of answers. And all the while be hoping old age gets me before the sea monsters do. I'll give Maida just one thing. I hope that old age right gets me before caves. the sea monsters do. There's enough lithium there to fabricate a hundred tons of plasteel. Enough for a damn fleet of Cyclops submarines. There was Cyclops nothing anyone submarine? could have done to avoid crashing here. But I was right to order the detour. Is that the big one? If we get off this planet, Integrate they'll be talking BDA about data. the Tog L share price on the other side of the Federation. <laughs> Integrating new PDA data. There's got to be other things around here, right? Hello? Anything up here? Ooh, yeah, there is. Integrating new PDA data. Stalker T. Following the Nazi. Okay, we got to triumph. Um. What am I even? 500 meters down. That's the next Stadasi base we gotta go to. Um, what is going on now? I'm like so. I'm getting so confused now with the story. Uh, okay. What we probably need to do here is to reorient ourselves story-wise, and the way we're gonna do that is probably best by just going and uh, reading the PDA datas, data pads. That's also hoping I'm not missing half of them. Oxygen. I need to swim to my Seamoth before I drown. Okay. Any PDA data around here? What's down here? It's just a deep point. Okay. Um, any... How do I get out? That's like the real question now. It's like, how's... Where's out? How? Should probably really start looking. Uh, is that a Denasi base there? It is. I think that's the one I saw when I came in. I think it is, so yeah. This is our base up here. We should be able to go just straight up now. It wasn't as hard as I thought it was at all. Alright, let's redock the sea moth. Welcome aboard, Captain. Welcome to back aboard. I don't know what I was about to say. But, advanced theories. Uh, alien, uh, alien eggs, advanced theories, blueprints. Ooh, equipment. I'm just trying to go through and make sure that we have looked at everything. A stasis rifle is something here I might want to get. Especially because I'm going to have to start venturing into more dangerous areas. Um, bulkhead door. Exterior grow bread, floodlight, manufacturing station, moon pool, planter and pot. Uh, did I learn the nuclear reactor? I should probably figure out how I learn. What were they talking about? A cyclops? Which I'm pretty sure is the big, big uh, spaceship. So, or not big spaceship, big, uh, you know what I mean. Uh, How's his log? It's the day of the crash. I don't know what the heck is happening. It's the first time I've listened to Oz's log. There are shadows in the water under the hatch, but I can't tell if they're rocks or aliens. And there's weird looking caves nearby. The Aurora was carrying everything needed to build the phase gate. Mobile vehicle bays, bioreactors, propulsion cannons. It had a cinema. There, there was a zero-G gym. My cafe. I don't understand how we're here now. I don't know why no one's coming for me. 
Oh, damn. And then uh, when we found Ozzy. Uh, you I'm really free. think it'll carry two of us? Your regular sea glide tows a mass of 80 kilograms at over 30 kilometers an hour. The power cell rig to this one should double that. You think there's something out there that's faster? I'm sure. And that's assuming it doesn't overload three meters from the life pod. You're calm about this. I'm seeing the engineering problem. If I stop seeing the maths, I'll be terrified. Okay. What are you doing? You were gone so long. I thought you'd drowned. Put the flare down. I was going to try and attract someone's attention. That's not a distress flare. Stop waving it around like that. You'll catch the fuel line. Okay. Death by stupidity has no excuse. Alright. I mean, you saw them with a flare. You told them to... Well, you didn't even get a chance to get out of there, so never mind. I mean... It sucks even more, because it wasn't even your own stupidity that killed you. It was somebody else's stupidity. Like... Oh my god. Alien facility... Wait, what the hell? Distant... When did I get this? Interception background data recognized further alien elsewhere on the planet. Distant research. Location cave system with existing fossil records. Southern, southwestern entrance. Functionally li functional live specimen study. Okay. Uh, thermal power facility. So there's two more. There's a, there's a couple more uh, places. Life Park 6, Transmission Origins. Has been received from my side, but the attached coordinates were corrupted. Last available for draft was downloaded and analyzed. Uh, we, I think we've, we've already looked at this one. Um, what are these? I thought it might get claustrophobic living underwater. Father feels it is. He'd tell me it was childish. But I stare out of the window, and sometimes I think how lucky I okay. am to see this world up close. Back on the island, I wouldn't have believed the creatures that live down here. The fish, they glow. There's one that's 90% eyeball. Snakes twice the length of a habitat compartment. Certainly, it's not all friendly. Most of the plant life is toxic. I learned that the hard way. But I've managed to coax some marble melons into growing indoors. And when they don't cover our dietary needs, well, we eat the fish themselves. It's a bit gross, but it's nothing they wouldn't do. I've been attempting to document my findings. Father approves. He says understanding is power. That the more we know about this planet, the more we can use it to our advantage. I'm just doing it because it's fun. It's not easy without proper equipment and network yeah, access. Yeah, I guess like studying, like way, scanning all this stuff and learning about notes, it is kind of fun. Theories, Shows me the world in a way a spectroscopic analysis never could. Lately, I've been watching the crab snakes. They ambush their prey as it tries to feed on the mushrooms they hide in. Is that what, what those things are called? The, the seabed, which fertilizes snakes. the mushrooms, which feeds the herbivores, and so the chain continues. Coevolution gives me the fuzzies. Yeah, it gives me the fuzzies as well. Uh. Category 3, Ocean Planet. Uh, coral. I need to remember to keep scanning stuff. Crash fish is a carnivore sand shark stalker. Uh, it's gasopod. And then, we, of course, we got all the little fish that we've scanned. Leviathan. Reef back Leviathan. Okay. Scavengers and parasites. Scuttlebug. Flora. Yeah, uh, I need to get water and not, like, stand here drowning. Also, what the hell? 
happened. You're scanning for magnetite. Okay. Um. Is that how much of it's below me? You actually got like a bunch of it. There's you. You you went all the way out, my man. We might even be able to increase your range. Oh, well, cool up. We might be able to go increase the range. Also, uh, before I go get the magnetite, we got a radio message. This is Altera HQ. This may be our only communications window. We can't send a rescue ship all the way out there, so Aurora, you're just gonna have to meet us halfway. We've uploaded blueprints to the ship's We're computer. Doing a sandwich run, you in? Uh, yeah, give me a second. Black box data shows the high security terminal in the captain's quarters is still functional. Becky's leaving like in five minutes. All right, well, tell Becky I'll just take the, the regular. The regular? Yeah, she'll know what I mean. The code should and be... If she doesn't? Just tell her the regular, dude. Okay, the if code... I say regular, she's like, what's the regular? I have to come all the way back up here. The code should be 2679. The regular's just a ham and cheese. Okay, would you just say ham and cheese? Ham and cheese. Okay. What? I have to get in the captain's quarters now? But those guys are ordering ham sandwiches? <laughs>